A solar battery system works by capturing and storing energy generated from solar panels for use when sunlight is not available. Here is how the process works in more detail. Solar panels made from photovoltaic cells convert sunlight into direct current electricity. These cells absorb photons from sunlight, which causes electrons to move and creates an electric current. Solar panels produce the most energy during the day when the sun is shining strongly. Most home appliances and electrical grids use alternating current electricity, but solar panels generate direct current electricity. An inverter is used to convert the direct current from the panels into alternating current electricity. There are two main types of inverters commonly used. String inverters are connected to a series of panels and convert all the direct current from the solar array into alternating current. Microinverters are installed on each panel and convert the direct current to alternating current at the panel level, improving efficiency in systems where some panels may be shaded. During the day, the energy generated by solar panels is used to power the home or building. If the system generates more energy than needed, the excess energy is either sent back to the utility grid in a grid-tied system or stored in a solar battery for later use. When a solar battery system is included, the excess energy that is not used immediately is stored in the battery instead of being sent to the grid. Solar batteries store this energy as direct current electricity. This stored energy can be used when solar panels are not producing electricity, such as at night or during cloudy weather. Lithium-ion batteries are the most common type of solar battery used in modern systems because they are efficient, have a longer lifespan, and can store a large amount of energy in a compact form. When the sun sets or solar energy production decreases, the battery system supplies stored electricity to the home. The inverter reconverts the stored direct current electricity into alternating current so that it can power home appliances and other electrical loads. Solar battery systems can be either grid-tied or off-grid. In grid-tied systems, the system is connected to the utility grid. When the battery is full or energy production exceeds what the battery can store, the excess electricity is sent back to the grid. Some grid-tied systems allow net metering, where homeowners receive credits for the electricity they send back to the grid. In off-grid systems, the solar system is not connected to the grid and relies entirely on solar panels and batteries for power. Off-grid systems require more battery storage to ensure there is enough energy available during periods of low solar production, and they often include a backup generator for added reliability. Solar battery systems are generally efficient, with lithium-ion batteries able to charge and discharge with minimal energy loss. The lifespan of a battery is measured in cycles, where one cycle is a full charge and discharge. High-quality lithium-ion batteries can last for several thousand cycles, which translates to about 10 to 15 years of use. Solar battery systems can also act as backup power during grid outages. Grid-tied systems require special configuration to allow the battery to power essential appliances during a blackout. Off-grid systems automatically supply power from the battery when solar production is not available, making them completely independent from the grid. A solar battery system works by storing excess energy produced by solar panels, ensuring a steady power supply even when solar generation is low. It includes solar panels, an inverter and batteries, and can be either grid-tied or off-grid. Solar battery systems provide energy independence and reliability, especially in areas with frequent power outages or high energy costs. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, comment and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you never miss a new video.